Today we are going to change out the light bulbs on the Polar Express. And like an epic movie, we will start more toward the end than work our way back to the beginning. The whole trick on this operation is releasing the latches that are part of the windows within the Polar Express passenger cars. You can see on the one that we have already popped out what I'm talking about. If you look here, you will see a raised part. And if you look over here, you'll see one back here as well. You will have to look into the windows to find these. And the idea is, is that when you press on this and pull up on the top, it will all release and come out. It is much easier said than done because you don't have enough hands to press on four tabs and lift the lid at the same time. So we will do using some other additional tools. We will now demonstrate on how that is done. Okay, here's our Polar Express car. And this one, as you can see, the lights are working on the other cars, but not this one. So it's time to change the light bulbs. And we will now show you the real trick on how to get this done. It is best to have a couple of tools handy with you such as maybe a screwdriver, flat bladed one, maybe a bigger one, a smaller one, possibly a pocket knife, uh, using maybe one of the tools on here that doesn't have a blade. And worse comes worse, I think you can also use maybe a kitchen knife to help uh, pop that top on or off. So, as I said previously, we need to find the windows that have the little bump outs on them. Those are the ones where the latches are. We press in on those and then we pry in the top to uh, work the top off. So let's get going. All right, looking closely and you have to look very closely and run your finger in there. You'll see that this window here is raised up as well as the one down here is where it's raised. And so Typically, it's at the end of the lettering of the Polar Express, if you've got the version where the Polar Express is on top. All right, so by squeezing here really tight and then inserting a screwdriver in under the back part of there, you can, you will, as you're pressing on it and you're prying, you'll hear a pop and then the top will start to come off. I said this is much easier said than done as it starts to come off you'll start to see the white of the windows come up and then you're ready to move on to the next the front part there we go okay we got the this side started now let's see if we can work oh I think it went back down that is an issue Good, we got that one going. Got that one going, good. And there, voila, it comes off. All right, we can see that Polar Express car here is working. Neither light bulb in here is working. So we'll need to change out both bulbs. I'm gonna first grab this one. Again, it's a pinch. Take it out, you can see the direction that it goes in. Get the new one, line it up. And it slides right back in. Get the next one. Pinch, pull it out. Get the new bulb. All right, exactly right is this way. And it's in. Now let's see if we got it working. So we got a little bonus one on this video. And that we, now we need to troubleshoot why these lights aren't coming on. Here, as I was poking around on this, where these wire nuts are, there you can kind of see I get it to come on and go off. It means I've got an intermittent connection somewhere right in here. So what we'll have to do is remove this tape. 
and then redo the connections. Okay, what I had to do, and wasn't able to catch it all on video, but I took that wire nut off where the wires were not very well connected together. The cap was already falling off. Put a little twist on the wires, put the cap back on, and now you can see both lights are working fine. So I'll end up taking a little bit of tape that I have. I'll tape that back down, and well then we'll get to putting the top back on. All right, I've got some tape on there now to tape it back up like it was. It should all hold in place and we'll snap the lid back on. All right, putting the lid back on. Again, it doesn't really matter which one goes where. Uh, if you want the little boy who's in the back of the train, you can always put him in the back. If you get it wrong, you just turn the car around. So slide this all back into place and it goes in much easier than it came out. And you will press firmly down on the car and you'll hear it kind of click back into place and there it is. And let's turn the lights on one more time. A working lighted car once again.